Grand Prix meet with her home crowd. World champion in 1993. The mother has uh, a record of underachieving in finals in the past, but it's become more solid recently. It's very difficult this event if you start to get too tense and a little bit uptight because it does rely upon being relaxed with a long arm. So here's Haddestad in the first round. The main competition of Joanna Stone, and that is around 65. In fact, it's not. It's around 70. 69, I reckon, Dave. Something like that. Bisset's throw was 63.80 previously. So Haddestad has opened up this competition in fine style. The Olympic bronze medalist. It was quite flat, and, and it... I wasn't quite sure exactly how far it was going to be, which is why I said 65 metres. Did tend to sail 68, 78. So that's a big throw for Haddestad. Joanna Stone is second. This is her second throw. She's got a big lead so far, just over four metres. And can she improve here? The world leader and her opening throw indicating that she's come here for business. And had a start amongst the top ten in the world ever. In fact, she places eighth on that list. So she's a formidable opponent for Joanna Stone. Well, world champion in 93, so she's been there before. Knows what it's like to stand on top of the dais at the highest level. Miss Gottenberg when she had a son. 64.90. Joanna's had three better than that. And her throw of 68.16 would have taken the Olympic gold medal in Atlanta. Now, can Hattestad improve her position? Well, I say improve, she's first, but can she stretch her lead over Stone? Because she must be uncomfortable. It's not much of a break at the moment. Certainly not in this event. Um, anything under a metre is definitely reachable. And about the same as Stones. So oh, it's over 65, perhaps just a fraction further. And Haddestad, who's had 10 starts for 10 wins in 1997, tries desperately to hang on to her lead. Two throws left for each of the eight competitors in the final. 66-32, so that's a, a good throw but uh, doesn't do anything for her, just like Joanna's 66-1-2. And it's short of 65 metres, but she does win the gold medal. And Australia, with Joanna Stone repeating the performance of Louise McPaul in Atlanta, gets the silver medal with two personal bests in the competition. And Louise, and Louise will be very happy, and Joanna Stone will be absolutely delighted. I doubt whether we've ever seen a better performance by any Australian field athlete in terms of the quality of that uh, stone effort to be so good all the way through. Tremendously consistent to be able to notch up PV after PV, even with the pressure there on the last throw.